In the marketplace at the moment, we have a huge tension between what can be done with data and personalization and what we deem to be okay. My name is Tom Goodwin. I'm author of Digital Darwinism. Here's how to think about privacy in the future. A key theme in my book, Digital Darwinism, is the idea of privacy trading. How do we both obtain information from people they're happy to share, keep it securely, be transparent about what we hope to do with it, but more than anything else, use it to serve people better. Generally speaking, our entire industry has tiptoed around the edge uh, for fear of waking up the beast that is privacy. The reality is, as we see privacy hit the headlines in more and more places, it becomes obvious that we need to start a much more progressive and open and transparent conversation about this. The reality is that a generation of people have grown up sharing their most intimate thoughts on social media, taking pictures and sharing them with their friends. I think it's unfair to think that people's expectations of privacy in the future are going to be like they were in the past. In this environment, let's seek to see how we can serve people much better. How can we delight them with personalization? How can we aid them as they go through the airport? How can we use all the information we have about them to ensure that we can give them the best possible experience in all places? A key part of the future of privacy will be clear in how we intend to use it and to be clear in the value exchange. We must be absolutely transparent about what data we keep, how we use it, what our intentions are, but above all else, we have to keep it absolutely secure. So the future of privacy will very much be about openness, about transparency, about asking for permission, but above all else, it'll be about maximizing the exchange that people get in return for sharing this most personal and valuable information.